So in the last video, I got a lot of questions about some of the settings that we had on the Tiny SA Ultra, specifically about the one kilohertz tone, which is a common tone to use in tests like this, and the three kilohertz of uh, deviation. And I figured what I would do is I would just give you a quick uh, demo and show you why. Okay, so we're connected to the Tiny SA Ultra. It's going to be sending a signal out and then into just the Tiny SA. So what I want to do is I want to go over here to measure, and then I'm going to go to more, and then I'm going to go to channel power. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in my frequency, 146.52 megahertz. And then it's going to ask for my channel width, and I'm going to do 15K. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my signal on. And so when I do this, you can see that the bulk of my signal is within this bandwidth, and that is 99.9%. .9%. And that is a 15K span. And that's typical for this channel spacing that we see in UHF, VHF. Another uh, test that we're going to quickly do is to go back and take a look at our 3 dB roll-off. And so this is when a channel loses... Uh, half of its power. So when you think about a 3 dB drop, it's 50% of your power. And you can see that the two markers on the outside here, let me bring this up to the camera, maybe get a little bit better look. And we're looking at a roughly uh, width of about six, I'm sorry, seven kilohertz. And this is kind of interesting because when we do this, give me one second. So one thing I want to add real quick is, is that when you're using uh, tools like this and doing these types of tests, it's really important that you understand what you're doing because the tiny SA is very sensitive and you can overload and damage the front end of this easily. Uh, conversely, when feeding signals into your radio directly, you can do the same. You can damage the front end and cause problems there. So when we're going to inject a signal from the Baofeng into the tiny SA, um, I always use this attenuator. It's a 10 watt, uh, 40 dB attenuator. So it reduces my signal strength by 40 dB. And I generally use the Baofeng on a low setting. Uh, so that way that I make sure that I am safe when I am uh, pushing the signal that direction. Now, I don't use the attenuator when going from the tiny SA to the Baofeng because I'm adjusting the signal output of the tiny SA to a low enough, safe enough level. Uh, I can't do that with the Baofeng. Okay, so now we're, we're all connected here to our Baofeng, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to key up. And what is happening now is, is that the tiny SA is sorting out its attenuation. But when you see that, I only have a, about, it's about three. So hopefully you can see that. What I'm doing is I'm using a DTMF uh, modulated tone to create that signal. And it's just over 7 kilohertz wide. So it's very similar to the signal that is being produced by the tiny SA. Um, I'm not making any uh, crazy delusions that this tiny SA is producing the qu finest quality signal. Uh, we use it because it's convenient, it's affordable, and it's approachable by hams. And it is like a Swiss Army knife in the ham shack. Um, and we're, part of doing these tests is just showing folks how they can use equipment like these tiny SAs. Um, anyhow, hopefully that answers the question.